Hi guys. So I'm sure that this is a annoying and familiar sight to anyone that has made quarries and used them in TechIt. I thought that I'd put together a little video to show how you can stop this happening and have the quarry automatically turn itself off until you go and fix any problem or clear any chests. It's not a particularly elegant solution, but it's reliable. It doesn't use a huge amount of resources and it does mean that you don't actually lose anything is anything that is dropped when sort of things drop out of this pipe will actually be picked up um, so let me turn this off and I will start setting that up I'd also like to point out that obviously you wouldn't only have a tiny little chest like this to collect all your stuff from a quarry um, but this would be say the end chest in whatever you were setting up so say for example you had maybe a chest here that piped everything out with an item duct or you had a tesseract here or maybe you had a series of chests and this is the last one this is where you would do this little system that I'm doing because obviously you don't want a tiny little chest like this for you to try and collect all your stuff from the quarry I'd also suggest sticking to using the Buildcraft transport pipes because if you've got the item ducts on the top of a quarry and things go wrong it just sprays things everywhere so you'd have to set this up around the quarry whereas with the Buildcraft transport pipes they will come out of the quarry even if there's nowhere for it to go and they'll drop at the last place they can't go to if that makes sense okay so the way this is going to work is essentially we're going to have item collectors around this chest and we're going to put some a, a sort of like little bit of a wall around here just to make sure items don't go anywhere else on top of those item collectors we're going to have some pressure plates and they will set off a redstone signal which will fire a piston and turn this off now the reason that I've done that with a piston is so that once the piston fires off it will be sitting on top of a redstone torch that redstone torch will sort of send a signal into here it won't turn itself off so the quarry won't start again until you come along and fix it and that just means that you don't have a situation where it's going to keep going and going and going and then basically the chests that we have to pick up the fallout of the stuff that doesn't go into the chest don't then get full and we have the same situation over and over again so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the sort of little wall area around here so I'm going to just make it too high and make it like so Now there's a reason that I have made it a sort of U shape like this. For some reason, if you only have it like this, you only got an area left and right for the stuff to fall out of. For some reason it it just glitches out. I don't know why, and it's it's a little bit annoying. So once you build this, we're gonna need item collectors. And we're gonna need four of them. Then we're going to need some redstone or redneck cable. I do apologize. I need a couple of other things pressure plate, piston, redstone, redstone torch. So, first thing, oh, also going to need a hopper, and we're going to need another couple of chests. Oh. So first thing is to place these down. Now obviously you probably want to place these down first if you're building it. I've just done that so you can see that shape straight off. And then connect up those pressure plates with the redneck cable. And bring that um, back here. Place a redstone torch there. A little bit of redstone wire. piston and just a block there then going to connect 
all of that up like so. So when something falls onto this, it's a one wake up system there. So that will you know that will sit there until you come back and break the block. And you can just use any block that uh, will pass through a redstone signal. Okay, so next thing is you need to just have anything that falls into those blocks drop into a couple of chests. So there's our collector. There's two of them there. Important to put the chest down first, otherwise you can't well unless you want to dig further down. So we've got our two chests there. And I'm just gonna put hoppers facing down on top. So let me just come down and get that stuff from there. Um, you could probably just have you know chests underneath here and item ducts but I'm just trying to make that as sort of as easy to do as possible. Um, there's a reason I don't put the chest right underneath here is if we just put a chest here is you can't open the chest when it's directly underneath there. And I didn't want to play around with it being directly underneath that chest because I didn't want potentially things to fall down any sort of gap there. You never know, this is Minecraft. And now I'm just going to connect this up. So we just have this going up over here into there. And finally, we'll put this. Now, also, very important point here. You need to make sure this is set on low. They're automatically set like that, but just make sure it is set on low. That means that when it gets a signal, it turns off. So there we go. That is now sending out power. Our quarry's getting stuff, and we should see this in action very shortly. Here we go. So there you go. It just fired off. As you can see, everything is, all the blocks are falling down into that collector there. It may be possible to actually only have a collector either side. It just was glitching out for me. It might be that my computer was being a bit of a turd. But this is now turned off because of that block there. And as you can see, we're losing power from the quarry. Now you may find a few items sit there on top of that plate for a little while. But don't worry about that too much. Um, all that means, all that is, is basically the the hopper underneath there has just got too many items in it and it will just sort of gradually start feeding them down. Okay, so we're now no longer getting any items from the quarry and we're not losing any items that could have gone into that chest. Not so much of an issue at this level that it's at, but... <clears throat> oh, my voice went weird there. So it's not so much of a an issue at this level here, but once you get down to, say, diamonds, and to be honest, I... I don't know if anyone else has found a situation, but quite often is you'd be watching a quarry and it's like, okay, it's going okay, it's going okay, and it'll start to get down to a level where it's a really important resource is, and you'll turn your back and next thing you know, it's like all your diamonds and emeralds and gold and redstone, as everything just come flying all over the place. So with this system, you won't have that happen. So if we go down and check this chest down here, as you can see, all our stuff is just being dropped into that chest. You could probably have this, um, I mean, really what you should be able to have, is it like this. This is how you should be able to have it. But for some reason is, well, I know the reason why, but, you know, things fall into here. If there's too much things, it bounces out. But... You know, it should be dropping down so quickly that it doesn't bounce out. But, you know, anyway. Either way, it's not particularly hard to make these item collectors. Um, so we'll put our pressure plates back so you can see how it should look. There we go. And when you want to come and start it up again, once you've fixed any backlog of items or clear chests out, all you need to do is break the block that's here. Just break that block, put it back. Just by breaking that block, this will start sending power out again. Obviously, you can have your power feeding into here. Or the other option is, if this was a Tesseract you got here, Tesseractor, a Tesseract even, is you could just have the power cable coming underneath to a cell underneath there. 
anyway guys I hope that's been useful to you I hope it saves you some frustration and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I am still working on a few other things about quarries and I'll put the videos up soon have fun